Hi, I'm Jed Kolko, and I'm an economist here at the Public Policy Institute of California, talking today about the California economy. The economy, of course, is a major concern in California and elsewhere. California and the U.S. and the world have just gone through a major recession in 2009. The recession has been slightly worse in California than in the U.S. generally. But when we take the longer term view, looking at job growth in California and compare it to the U.S. overall, we see that California's job growth actually tracks the U.S. When the U.S. employment grows, so does California. When the national economy does poorly, California does as well. California does a little bit better in booms and a little bit worse in recessions, but by and large, California looks largely like the U.S. Now, we think of California in many ways as so different or so special, but in fact, California, being a big, diverse state, has a pretty broad industry mix, much like the U.S. generally does. So even though California is known for certain industries, like wine, like technology, like entertainment and the movies, in general, California's got a broad, diverse industry mix that makes the state's economy look an awful lot like the U.S. overall. Now, when we look at some other measures that people have focused on, we can sometimes get a misleading picture of what's going on in California. One measure that people often point to is whether businesses are leaving or coming to California. In our own research, we found that actually very few businesses either leave or enter California. So when we look to see how California is doing economically, we prefer to look at employment growth overall rather than measures of businesses entering or leaving the state. Even though California now grows at roughly the same rate of the U.S., it wasn't always so. In fact, for many decades, from the end of the Second World War until around 1980, employment growth in California actually exceeded the U.S. overall by a considerable degree. California grew much faster than the U.S., and that was really the heyday of California's growth. Now, when California tracks the U.S. economy pretty closely, that's actually worse performance than California used to have. So some of the factors that made California more special economically in the past aren't holding up the same way today. California is a high cost and high productivity state. When we look at the types of costs that businesses pay in the course of doing business, such as real estate, wages, and taxes, California is well above the national average on most of these costs. Yet at the same time, output per worker in California is also well above the national average. California businesses therefore are more productive than businesses elsewhere. Now not all businesses are willing to put up with the higher costs of California. Only those in industries where they can be more productive here end up staying here. Businesses who would otherwise incur the high cost but not benefit from higher productivity end up being elsewhere. One of the most important sources of high cost in California is real estate. During the real estate boom of this decade and the bust that followed, California's housing prices have remained well above the U.S. average. Right now, prices in California are around twice the U.S. average. During the height of the boom, prices rose to as high as three times the U.S. average. Businesses, of course, need real estate for their own operations. Housing costs also affect businesses because it makes it more difficult to hire workers in California if workers can't afford to live here. The fact that housing costs are so high reflects some of the benefits of being in California. People like to be here for good weather and other amenities. Businesses like to be here when they are more productive here. All of these things raise the demand for being in California and therefore raise housing prices. The flip side of that is it makes housing very expensive for businesses or households who don't experience the same benefits of being in California. The high cost of housing in California makes California more different from the U.S. than almost any other factor. So even though today California's economy grows at roughly the same rate as the U.S., it does so with much higher housing costs. And even though those high housing costs reflect some of the advantages and desirability of California, high housing costs will remain a challenge for businesses and households in California to wrestle with for the future. Thanks very much for listening.